Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to see if the good luck streak continues. I got a Ofra mystery box. I have gotten one of these a couple of years back and it was really good. It was a lot of lippies. So I wanted to get one more recent and see if maybe we get a highlighter this time. What all comes in this box? So if you're interested to see what is in my Ofra mystery box and to see if my lucky streak keeps going, then just keep watching. Okay, guys, I'm super excited to see what we got in here and to see if the lucky streak is going. Like I said, the one that I got before really was just all lippies. And so I'm excited to see if they're doing anything different. Okay, so this mystery box is $39 and I had a discount of $7.80. So the subtotal came out to be $31.20, but then shipping is another $6. So this mystery box with tax and, and shipping included ended up running me $37.20. So not too bad, not too bad with shipping and interest and all that good stuff. As I opened this up, I saw something on top that jogged my memory that I did open up one of these boxes not too long ago. It was about five months ago. And I opened this one up and I don't remember liking it that much. Okay, so you have this in here. I'm not gonna look, but it was a lot of lippies. And I think I gave most of it away, like in a giveaway. It's it's not that it's not good stuff. It's just that I already had a lot of what they were giving away. So I saw this and this is what jogged my memory because I could not believe that this was in the box. Hand sanitizer. And I have one sitting over there. So some lucky individual on a giveaway will be getting this hand sanitizer. I'm going to link the one I did five months ago. I think it was a live stream, but I will put the timestamp of when I open up the box in that live stream and go back and let's compare how well of a difference there is between the two, a five months difference. I totally forgot about that box. I forgot about it because it was not that good. It's my typical box. So I don't know. I could be breaking my streak this time. Don't know. The Lotus collection is coming out and it looks like I got a highlighter. So I, I can already tell you, mm, quite possibly broke my streak. <laughs> Ofra, I need to remember not to get their mystery boxes. So this highlighter is in Rodeo Drive, a very, very beautiful highlighter. Okay, when I say I need to remind myself not to get this box, I want to be very clear. It is not because the value isn't there and it is not because they don't necessarily put good items for the value in their boxes. I need to remember for myself because typically they do not give things that will add to my collection. That's all. It was buyer's error. It is a really, really phenomenal box. But what I think for me, what will benefit me more is going with a company that I don't own as many items with. Or if I go with a company that has more of the products that I typically wear. So I love I love the highlighters that Ofra has, but I really don't reach for them very often because I typically go for more blingy highlighter, a more glittery almost highlighter most of the time. Like today I have a glowy one on. So yes, there are times that I reach for my Ofra, but like their eyeshadow palettes and stuff like that, I don't usually reach for very often. But this is a full size highlighter. This is Rodeo Drive. This is one of their one of their best selling highlighters. And so to get this in a mystery box is phenomenal. It's phenomenal. And all this does is gives me opportunities to put some really phenomenal items in your guys' giveaways. So, yes. So, this here alone is only a couple of dollars away from paying for the entire box. That is phenomenal. Like, that. that's amazing. This here is $35. So, to get this in a mystery box, Rodeo Drive is gorgeous. 
So mine, my Rodeo Drive is in this one here. I really do love this highlighter. I've had this for a long, long time. It's the old packaging. Um, but this is the Beverly Hills, and it has all of those in there. And so this one right here, which is really one of the ones that have the biggest dip in it, that is Rodeo Drive. Gorgeous. Gorgeous highlighter. Yes, kind of similar to what I, you know, this one's a little bit more gold, but this is beautiful. So this will make somebody very, very happy in an upcoming giveaway for sure. But if you get this, you're going to get this. <laughs> Just be forewarned. So I hope you like yourself some hand sanitizer. <laughs> okay. I got a blush in Chameleon. That is a really pretty little blush. I think I already have a color like this. Not from Ofra, but I do have a color like this. So I'll put this in the giveaway pile. I did look this up and it looks like these small little ones are probably about $15 if they're the same. They have they have them in different packaging online, but I'd imagine these are probably $15. So 35 plus 15 plus the hand sanitizer. The hand sanitizer is on clearance for $2. So yes, they're just plopping those in there to try to get rid of them. <laughs> These little wipes I got in the last one. I do remember that. These are the cleanse it off. And these are for your lips. And I tried to remove makeup with them and they do not remove makeup very well. They are for your lips and they do work really well for your lips. Not so much for your makeup. So use them for your lip removal. I kind of pull them out for swatches and stuff. A lot of times I use these. So, so these are $3 <laughs> on clearance for $3. So again, trying to get that old stock out. That I'm sure is what is being added to these lovely items are, you know, here, take this too. <laughs> And then we got a liquid lip and I do like their liquid lip formula. It's not like my favorite favorite, but it is very, very good. So this looks like a color that I probably don't have. It looks a little bit like onto the orange side of things. I don't know. I have had some phenomenal luck with mystery boxes, but here lately, I've been kind of inundated with orange things lately. I even have an orange lippy on today because I got this in a box from a friend. So what is what what is trying to be told to me right now? I don't know. Maybe you can explain it to me in the comments section. Okay. So this is kind of like a terracotta orangey, kind of has a little bit, I don't know, from the outside packaging, kind of looks more like, almost like a little pink tone to it. But I'm going to pull out my Ofra lippies and I'm going to see if I have this color and or if I have anything similar to it. Okay, I don't have it in Ofra. I'm going to swatch it. Okay, yeah, I'm going to keep this one. I don't think I have anything too similar to it. And it's not as orange as I thought it was going to be. It does have kind of a pinkish undertone, but it is kind of like a terracotta orange with a pinkish undertone. I like it. So that's a winner. Keeping that. Ofra. Okay, so then <laughs> this is regularly $20, but it is it is on clearance for $8. So I'm going to count the clearance prices in my totals, okay? But I do like it, so we're not complaining. So this one I'm keeping, and I'm going to keep the wipes. And then the other items are going in a giveaway. And then we have the Signature Palette. And this is the last thing in the box. The Signature Eye Palette. Let's look it up. Ooh, I'm super excited about. <laughs> Okay, so this alone is $32, not on clearance. So I am okay with all, I take back like all the clearance things that they threw in here. I don't care because seriously, this doubled my box right here. Double, double, almost doubled, almost doubled it. $32, $30, $35, I think I said, and $32. There you go. Amazing. But the colors. Okay, so I'm not a big fan of Ofra's palettes, but if I was going to try uh, try them again, I mean, there's nothing wrong with them. They're just not as pigmented as I typically like. And so I usually will get them and I'll play with them and then I give them away. Having this, I definitely, if I was going to try Ofra again and let's give it a go again, this would be the palette that I would order. So I am... I have seen this palette and I'm so stinking excited to have it. Wait till you see the inside.
<laughs> There's different signature eye palettes. Oh, that's funny. Okay. I thought, okay, so this is called, there's different ones. <laughs> this isn't it. Okay, I thought it was the one that's called, It's they're all called signature eye palettes, but they're all different ones. This must be called contour eyes. I am so confused. Okay, because so it says signature palette contour eyes. So this must be called contour eyes. The one that I wanted to try was empowered. And it's greens, like grungy green yellow. Very pretty. And I think lavender. Like that I want to, I, that's the one I'd want to try. So that is not it. Okay, contour eyes is a palette. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know if I'm going to keep it. I don't know. We'll see. It's, it's not me. but. Contour eyes, um, still $31. Yeah, it's not really me. So we're going to put that in the giveaway. <laughs> it's not really me. Oh my goodness, you guys. All right, but that's okay. This will be in a phenomenal little giveaway for somebody. Let's go. I, it's still worth it. <laughs> because this is still $31. We have the contour eye palette. We have the hand sanitizer. <laughs> we have Rodeo Drive in the highlighter. Absolutely gorgeous. Wonderful, wonderful gift in a in a mystery box, no doubt. We have the mini blush. We have the cleanse it off Clarence wipes. <laughs> and then we have this Clarence lippy, but it's pretty and I'm pretty excited for it. So, all right. And this is the one item I am keeping. So, yay. <laughs> all right. Oh no, I'm keeping this too. Let's not forget the white piece. I'm keeping this too. Okay. But it's okay. It's all right. So this is going in a giveaway. I hope that you guys all enjoyed this unboxing and don't forget I will link the video in the description box. Go check it out. All right, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this. And I hope that you guys all have a blessed day. Take care. Bye-bye.